Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be one of the other features that TU14 has to offer, and that is no other than the Ender Chest. What Ender Chests do is... Whoa. My controller just died. Okay. Wow. I didn't check the life of the controller. Let's hope that this other battery is still good. I have rechargeable batteries right here now, and hopefully this one is good. Hopefully, 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 because these energy packs or battery packs that you could have put on a recharging station, they are $10 each. My God, it's so expensive, but it's worth it rather than spending so much money on batteries that don't recharge. I have rechargeable batteries. Let's see. Let's see if it's good. Let's see if it's good. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's move on from here. <laughs> That's kind of exciting now, isn't it? Okay, energy chests. They are pretty much like... A chest that you could take yourself anywhere you go. Honestly, I don't know how else to explain it. Well, first, what you need to do to create an Ender chest is that you're going to need an Eye of Ender, first of all. And for an Eye of Ender, you go all the way down to where the clock is at under Tools and Weapon. You go down, you're going to need an Ender Pearl, and as well as Blaze Powder, which you're going to need a Blaze Rod. And to get Blaze Rods, you're going to have to kill Blazes. So there's a lot of steps in order enough to create an Ender Chest, but in the end, it's going to be worth it. So let's go create the Ender Chest right here. You're also going to need 8 obsidian blocks, so there you go. Once you create it, you could set it down. And similar to a chest, except that items placed in the Ender Chest are available in every one of the player's Ender Chests, even in different dimensions. So what that means is that if you were to open it up, you could just place any random blocks. It doesn't matter what you place in there. And let's say that if I want to go across the entire world. Well, not exactly. Let's just say that we're just going to leave it there. We're going to put another chest. And if you open it up, all your stuff are in here. And let's put something else in here. Go all the way back. And let's see. Let's see. There it is. Let's just call this a portable bank. So this is a this is your own personal bank you can put anywhere in the world. You can put as many ender chests down if you want, and for every other other ender chest you put in there, take out items, put in items, it's gonna appear in the other chest. And here's the deal. If other people are gonna use the ender chest, they're not gonna be able to take your items. It's going to be a different ender chest for them. They can place their items in there and it's not going to affect your items at all. It's not going to take up your space. They won't take your items. Your items are safe. And I will show that when I put in the second controller. But first, let me go ahead and make another portal. I have a obsidian portal right here or another portal. And then we're going to have the end portal. So we're going to put two of the two different portals and we're going to show the capabilities of the ender chest. Well, that's not safe. I'm not going to put it next to lava. And besides, I'm not going to even save this world after all anyway. So we're just going to show this as a given example. So let me place this down. Place this down. The Eye of Enders. The Eye of Enders. Put them down here and create the portal. Create the portal. Really? You're not going to create the portal for me? <sighs> well then. Wait. Maybe. Or is it that? No. I don't need lava, do I? Come on. Come on, come on. Where is the flint steel? Miscellaneous, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. No. Tools. There we go. Come on. Work for me. No. Okay. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Let's go to the netherworld. I'm pretty sure I did something wrong here, but... I don't even know right now. Entering the nether. Come on. Load up for me. I know you're lagging, but please load up. Okay, so place the ender chest here, and all your items are right here. You know what? That brings in the question. I know there are some glitches and bugs, but I want to see if you're able to bring water in here. Well, yeah, it doesn't even matter if you bring a water bucket. It's just going to evaporate, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, good to go. Good to know. It's fine. It's fine. Not even in creative mode, you're able to do this. Now, the ender pearl, or sorry, the end portal. Why can't I activate it? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I know I think I thought I placed it down correctly. Or is it a 12 by 12? My god, what's wrong with me? Everything is wrong with me, but what's wrong with the portal that I placed down? Whew. 
You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go to my other world, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm in my other world. So, here it is. There's the Ender Pearl. Or, sorry. Ah! End Portal. Ender Pearl, End Portal. You need an Ender Pearl to make Eye of Enders. Okay. I'm getting a lot of things confused right now. So, let's go ahead and place an Ender Chest right here. Put some cake right here. And drop down here. Entering the end. And place another one here. And there's my cake. So, you could actually place it in the end. In the in the netherworld and in the overworld, you can just place it anywhere you want it. It's going to be very, very great for Operation Dome and Operation Bedrock. But for Operation Bedrock, the netherworld has already been created. So I wonder if I were to reset the nether from there, then I'll be able to try to get another fortress. If possible, that'd be great. Then we could get some ender chests and this is going to help the process a lot quicker. And especially in Operation Dome, I do not think we've actually created the netherworld in that world. So, we could possibly get another fortress and get some ender pearls. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So, that is all to show. The ender chest, pretty self-explanatory. It is your own personal portable bank. And oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot to show the fact that any other person cannot take any items out of your chest. So let me go ahead and plug in the second controller. Hopefully this battery pack is still good. So press start to join the game. And we're gonna go as, well, I cannot have a guest apparently. Well then, let's see. Sword King 090 Gaming. It still exists, people, it still exists. I have yet to actually go on there because I have less than enough, less than enough time to actually go on Sword King Gaming. I'm sorry, people. That's just how it is. Work is taking more hours away from me now. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, let me go ahead and get to the ender chest. Right here. I even put, I have not even put on the settings on this one. Wow, okay. So, go over here. Let me take his stuff. Let me take his stuff. <gasps> but I can't. I can't. There it is. Look at that. Wait, why am I saying his? It's mine. My god, I'm getting confused. So, here you go. Right here, right now. I could place, well, second controller, place an ender chest in here. But, it won't appear on my ender chest. So, there you have it, people. There you have it. So, if anyone wants to use an ender chest, they can do it as well. And they could place any ender chest across the world. And if you go to their ender chest, your stuff will still be in their ender chest. But, you cannot take their stuff of what they put in there originally. It gets confusing people, but simply put it, your stuff is your stuff, and their stuff is their stuff. No matter where you're at, no matter where the ender chest is put, you cannot take their items and they cannot take your items. So, everybody's gonna be happy. There is no griefing when it comes to taking ender chests. So, there you have it people. That's all for me to show right here, right now. Hope, hope you enjoy this video. Hope this was informative for you. And this is a very practical item for you to use and for you to have. But until then, this is going to be the end of this video. Can I do a double thing? Can I do a double thing? Let's see if I'm able to. Now, this is going to be really, really tricky. But if I can, I can. If not, then, ah, oh, well, at least I tried, right? So, let me see. Let me see. You can hear the clicking of the second controller because that's so brand new. Haha, <laughs> look at that. My old skin and my new skin. This is, this is going to be weird. This is going to be weird, if possible. So with that being said, I'm SoraKing090. Wait, can I not do this here? What the heck? This won't let me do it. I can't do the crouch. Oh wait, I'm flying, that's why. Alright, there we go. So with that being said, I'm SoraKing090. Have a great day everyone. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Oh, I dropped my sword. Again, this is really difficult. And as well as I destroyed everything. I can't do nothing right. And then of course, my controller's sliding.